Hello and welcome. Today's question comes from Jody, and Jody asked, "How do I know when I'm actually talking to my guides? What does that feel like?" And all I can do is answer that from my perspective and what it feels like when I connect with my guides and when I'm actually talking or really listening to my guides. So I hope this is helpful, Jody. Um, what what I wait for really is a a feeling of awareness um, outside of me. So if I could maybe uh, just do this for you right now, I am calling in some of my animal guides. Ah, and so I, I invite them in and all of a sudden I felt a presence that was outside of me, that was in, in my energy field, in my space, but it wasn't me. I could feel it as a different vibration. And that is a specific animal guide that I have that's been with me for about a decade now. And he has a very different signature, vibration, energy signature than other of my guides. So now I will work on, I will invite in another guide specifically asking, and there we go. So, so now it's coming in. I can feel it coming in. And this one usually comes in, in a swirling fashion. I can feel her just wrapping her coils around me. Yes. She says, I can share with you. She's serpent. Um, and I can feel her wrapping her coils around me in a almost like a warm hug. And that feels very different from the animal that I invited in just moments ago. And I can still feel, so when I drop out of being in my body and I just put my consciousness or raise or push my awareness out a little further, I can still, still feel both of their energies as separate entities and separate from me too. So thank you guys. <laughs> and so one went away and another one is just kind of moved further out of my energy field, but it's still here. I can still feel their presence. Uh, and now I will work on calling in a spirit teacher, which again, every single one of my guides and probably yours as well, have a different feeling about them. They have a different energy signature is what I call it. I don't know what else it would be called. Um, so I invite in a spirit teacher who would like to show themselves. So right now what I'm feeling is a pressure on the center of my back, almost like there's a hand pushing there. And it feels very much when I get out of my head, uh, it feels very much like someone saying, I'm here. And yet I'm not, uh, now I know who it is. I wasn't quite certain which one, which spirit teacher it was. So I ask when I'm uncertain, when I know that this is not me, that it's coming from outside of me and yet I'm not certain what it is. I just ask like, well, could you show yourself a little more or who are you? And then I become aware of who it is. Thank you very much for showing up. Um, seeing if anyone else wants to come in in a demonstration. And okay, so there is one more guide who has just come in uh, to demonstrate a different way to feel, sense, or be aware of the guides. So this one is more of a a ball of energy. It doesn't have any sort of form or I haven't given it a form so that I can recognize its energy signature. It really is very much like a ball of energy. And it came in, I could all of a sudden sort of feel it, but I could also see it or see a, um, a gl get a glimpse of it maybe. I didn't see it fully formed because it's energy, right? Who sees that? But it's like a ball of lights that came in right up here um, above me and it's still there. I can just feel it like this glowing ball of lights that are right there. And it's really a pure energy guide. It, it seems to always come from uh, a place of in the cosmos or from the cosmos or in the future. It's not, uh, an, it, it isn't, it doesn't feel to me like an energy signature that I would run into here in this three-dimensional plane in the world that we live in.
So thank you. Uh, and okay, sorry, I just I, I need to ask all of those energies to to step away for a moment. Um, so those that's how I feel the energy. I I wait when I invite in a spirit guide. I wait to feel the presence that comes from outside of me, that comes from around and into my energy field. Another way that I know a spirit guide is sometimes I don't even have to invite them. They just show up. And again, for me, it's, it's this like, oh, something else is here. Someone else is here. There is another energy here. And the ones I'm very familiar with, I just know instantly. The ones I'm not as familiar with, I ask. So who are you? Um, and they'll always tell that, you know, there's this sort of unwritten agreement in the spirit world that if you ask, they must be honest with you. So they will, they will tell you, um, as much as you are ready to receive or hear. So how else do I know when I've, I've actually connected to a spirit guide and that it's not just a thought form that I'm projecting. Sometimes there is a sense of deep love and compassion greater than something that i normally swim in greater much greater than that so every once in a while i'll just sort of step through this this place of awareness of being enveloped in so much love that it very much feels like it's a guide for me that one of my guides has shown up another way that I know I've connected with a guide is when there is a, a thought pattern or a feeling or an awareness that I'd not, I wouldn't normally have. Like this is something that is so beyond what my personality self is that I know it's coming from a wiser place, from a wiser source. And I really trust that. I've really learned to know the difference between what I'm thinking and maybe what I want and what my ego personality self is seeking, the answers that, that I'm seeking on that level, and the answers that really surprise me um, or the messages or, or whatever it is that comes in that's like, oh, I never would have thought of that brilliant. Um, or, oh, I never would have thought of that. Wow, that's going to be hard. So I watch for familiarity. And if it's super familiar to me, I know like, you're just, you're just coming up with this yourself, Terry. Relax, open up, make space, and allow it to come from the outside. Allow it to come from universal wisdom, from a guide, from the earth, from the stars, maybe it's coming from Grandmother Moon, but you, I personally always feel it as though it's coming from outside of me. And um, like I said, sometimes it feels like I'm wrapped in so much love and wisdom. And what comes from that is, is deeply profound usually. And sometimes it is so surprising to me that I'm like, oh, all right. So I know this wasn't something I cooked up in my head. Anyway, I hope that helps, Jody. It's it's tricky because you're going to feel it differently. You might feel it that same way, but you also might feel it in a very different way. There might be a different knowing that you have when your God shows up. So I encourage you to just explore any way that feels right for you and to question it. If you're uncertain, if it's you or if it's wiser than you, if it's a source outside, if it's your spirit guides, question it and ask, am I making this up? Is this, a, are you truly a spirit guide here to guide me in this matter? And see what response comes from that. So I hope that helps again, and I'll see you next week.